Gwyneth, as a way to combat loneliness, has listed her home in Montecito, one of her homes, on Airbnb for one night only. Two guests, Gwyneth Paltrow, Goop. What does your house on Airbnb have to do with the epidemic of loneliness? But in the past few years, increased isolation and our lack of community has made our lives even more fragmented. Airbnb had the brilliant idea of doing something to make the world a little less lonely. Really? Airbnb, the leader who's out here making our lives less lonely? Which is why I'm inviting you to come stay at my Montecito guest house for a night. Yeah, how much does that cost? While we may begin as strangers... Oh! You mean she's gonna be there? While we may begin as strangers, I hope we'll find connections and commonalities over a delicious meal. Lay by the pool, go on one of my favorite hikes, and of course you'll have a bathroom stocked with my favorite Goop products for a truly luxuriating stay. That includes the vagina scented candle. Book on August 15th at 10 a.m. PST at the link in my bio. Hope to host you soon. Okay, I have got to figure out how much this costs. Oh my God. Entire guest house host by Gwyneth. Booking for my guest house opens at, oh, I'm, I'm booking. Are you kidding me? 10 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday, August 15th for a one night stay for up to two guests on Saturday, September 9th. Wait, only one person gets to book this? And then this will defeat the epidemic of loneliness? A one night stay for up to two guests. What? Goop inspired meals and snacks will be provided. I'll be there to greet you upon your arrival and ensure you have all the necessities for a comfortable and rejuvenating stay. I love how many times she mentions the word Goop, by the way. Okay. I go there to recharge to daydream about what we're building at Goop. There's one. Plus, I've loaded up your stay with some of my favorite Goop essentials. There's two. Indulge in a relaxing spa day featuring my favorite Goop beauty supply essentials. There's three. Fuel your body with a nourishing Goop kitchen inspired meal. There's four. Best of all, take home valuable techniques and an abundance of Goop products. There's five. Goop inspired meals. Six. I wonder if this is an ad for Goop. No, it couldn't be. Gwyneth Paltrow would never do that. She's just trying to fix loneliness. What is the cost of this? Is it really $0 a night? Or is it just there's no price listed because the booking isn't open yet? Is this going to be like an auction? I am so confused. Hi, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. Welcome to my mom. No, that's far too loud. Montecito home. Behind me is my beautiful little guest house, which I'm about to list on Airbnb. Welcome. This is our guest house. Wood burning fireplace, lovely little bar, the bedroom with nice high ceilings. In here, we've got a nice soaking tub. Some of my favorite Goop products. Your skin is going to be better when you leave than when you came. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely not an ad for Goop. Definitely not. This is nestled right in nature so you can come and have a zen moment with lots of light and fresh air. Another amazing thing we can do when you come and stay is we could have a little chef's dinner together in our wine room. Oh. And you can select whatever bottle of wine you like and we can have a fantastic cozy dinner with your guest and my husband. Why does she seem like she would murder me? Why, why does she straight up look like the scary white lady from a horror movie who was like, I can't wait to host you. We're gonna have a wonderful time. Sit down, sit down now. Can I bring you anything? How are you liking that vagina scented candle? Yeah, this is, get, this is giving get out. This is a really nice place to come and relax on one of the Shaz long in the sun, have a nice swim. Okay, so do you think this is a good place to put on Airbnb? I think this is, I've seen a lot of homes and I think this is one of the best homes I've ever seen. Yeah, for sure. I have everything all set up and ready for you. Cannot wait to host you in the guest house. See you soon. I cannot wait to peel your skin off and then turn it into another candle that I sell for $90. Anyway, see you soon. I hope that you're the lucky person who I get to spend the evening with. The link is literally airbnb.com slash goop. <laughs> slash goop. Wow. This is definitely a way to revitalize Airbnb, which yes, you are correct. They are dying because everyone is like, you know what? Fuck Airbnb. Airbnb has been droop. And this is also a way for Gwyneth Paltrow to sell more overpriced, ridiculous items. Wow. But I am 
going to sign up if I can. I have to. I love that they made this about loneliness, though. Just typical, <laughs> no classic way of obviously, you know, this is about money, okay, for both Airbnb and for Gwyneth Paltrow. That's what this is. It's business. But they're disguising it under like self-help betterment type bullshit. Let's talk about loneliness. Our lack of community has made our lives even more fragmented. So the solution is to spend one night with me, Gwyneth Paltrow, where I will force you to spend all of this time and then subsequently money on my goop products and it will make the world a better place. A friend of mine, her old roommate, was the only person I knew who worked at Goop. At first, she was like, oh, Goop is great. I love it so much. Gwyneth comes in all the time. We always have meetings. It's, it's just such a great place to be. And then I remember I saw her a year and a half later and she looked fucking haggard. Okay, she said that she had quit her job. She was moving in with her parents. And I was like, what happened? I thought you were all about Goop. I thought Goop was great. She's like, Goop is not great. Goop is not great. Yeah, she got gooped out, man. She gooped too hard. You guys, do not let me forget. I'm putting this in my calendar. August 15th, I'm gonna set my alarm. I woke up this morning to make sure that I applied on time for Gwyneth Paltrow's Airbnb. So I sent in my application. I wrote this really long sob story about how I've just been so demoralized by the strikes, which like is true. But also then I talked about how I used to live in Paris because Gwyneth's home in Montecito that she described as having Parisian European influences, like that's how she designed the home. So of course, I was like, I used to live in Paris and the moment that I saw the photos of your home, I just knew I had to stay here. It reminded me so much of being 20, walking around the streets of Paris. And as I've been going through a lot lately, I just feel that being in your home surrounded by things that recall such happy memories for me would really do my mental health some wonder. So we'll see. Okay, I didn't know how hard I should go on heaping praise upon Goop. I did say like, I love Goop products. What a treat to get to be surrounded by some of my favorite products that I already buy and use. Yeah, so I don't know how they make the decision on like who gets to stay there. The other thing is, is that my Airbnb photo is, uh, let me see if I can actually find it. It's the goopiest looking photo. It's pretty blurry, but look it. Like, come on. That's my photo for my application for Gwyneth Paltrow's Airbnb. <laughs> it's from a stock photo shoot that I did. It's so goopy looking. I better fucking get this or else I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, I'm a goop queen, number one fan. Look who else is listing their Airbnb. I gotta apply. I'm just gonna apply to all the celebrity Airbnb listings. I gotta. So apparently they were inspired by Gwyneth Paltrow's Airbnb ad, and now they are gonna do the same thing. Let's not forget though, Ashton Kutcher is an investor in Airbnb. It's in his best interests that Airbnb goes back up. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are inviting complete strangers to stay in their house. They announced on Instagram that the couple have partnered with Airbnb, which he's an investor of, again, to make their guest home available to rent out on the home sharing platform. In the short clip, Kutcher can be seen sitting next to Kunis in front of their beach home in Santa Barbara County and telling her about his really dumb idea. Hey, babe. Yeah. Oh, no. I have a really dumb idea. Why are you recording? Because it's a dumb idea. We'll make sure we get a, like, recorded history. <laughs> Okay, here, here, it's dumber than my mustache, I promise. I'm sure. <laughs> Thank What's you. this idea? Okay, I think we should have complete strangers come and stay with us at the beach. <laughs> it's so nice here. Like in real life? Yeah, like real life. This is so what? corny. Because it's, it's really nice here. I think you'll like it. <laughs> yes. The catch is you don't get a shower. <laughs> Yeah, because famously, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher talk about the fact that they don't like to bathe their kids. I think they'll like it too. Okay, so we're doing it? What? Great. Yeah, that was definitely candid and not at all planned. This is the beach house. Ashton and Mila's oceanfront oasis. Booking for the guest house opens at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, I gotta put this in my calendar. <laughs>
I gotta think about what the hell I'm gonna say. Should I just copy paste what I did for Gwyneth, but then... No, I should talk about how much I love Airbnb since he's an investor. I should be like, I think hotels suck. I will only use Airbnb. I have a dentist appointment. I'll just have to do it while getting my teeth cleaned. This is so important. My job is beach. They said that they will be there to greet you upon arrival and make sure you have everything you need for a fun-filled stay at the beach. But in this case, it's for up to four guests instead of two. Meals and snacks will be provided. So it's not as great as Gwyneth. Gwyneth is doing like a whole chef goop thing. She's going to be combating loneliness. She is going to be solving the loneliness epidemic by having one person stay in her Airbnb. All right, this is my new thing now. I just apply to be the guest at celebrities' yes. Airbnbs. You know, I do feel less lonely just from applying. How do you apply? You just go on Airbnb. Do you know what the weird thing is? I genuinely, logistics-wise, how do they make sure that they don't get a psycho? Because then that means that you will always know where Gwyneth's Montecito house is, or you'll always know where Ashton and Mila's oceanfront oasis is. You know what I mean? And also for who they pick, are they doing a background check? I assume so. What's my mine gonna turn up? Okay, let me Google my name and see what pops up. All right, it's my ID IMDB, which is good. Okay, so far, nothing sketch. I look wholesome. Okay, yeah, I don't, I there's nothing on here that would uh, be cause for concern. My Gwyneth Court coverage. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't type in Caroline Kwan, Gwyneth Paltrow, Twitch. I gotta delete the VODs ASAP.